Congressman Pete Stauber visited areas impacted by fire today, learning how he can help. KBJR6's Quinn Gorham caught up with the congressman today. He joins us live from where the road is closed, just east of Babbitt. So, Quinn, what does Stauber plan to do next? Well, Bonnie, helping limit those structure losses has been a top priority for fire crews out here battling the Greenwood fire. And a big reason for Congressman Stauber's visit to Ely today was to learn how he can help that on a federal level. Take a look. Peter McClellan was forced to evacuate his home near Highway 1 last week as the Greenwood fire got a little too close for comfort. He says each day he's paid close attention to the fire, hoping to learn if his property made it through. Monday was a very stressful day as the fire grew so rapidly uh, and it got real close to the house and was heading right there. And McClellan isn't alone. Congressman Pete Stauber visited Ely Wednesday to talk with other people impacted by the fire, from evacuees to U.S. Forest Service crews. I flew right in from D.C. to Minneapolis, drove right up here. Uh, it is critical that we see that, uh, see what's going on and if there's anything uh, that we need to do to help. Stauber met with the U.S. Forest Service to talk about exactly how he can help them in their efforts. He says it's a top priority to get those crews the help they need from the federal government, both now and in the future. We want to make sure that people understand we need to invest in, in the technology, the training, the equipment prior to the fire. So when it does happen, we have that capability of, you know, reducing the size of fire. And in the wake of all the destruction, Stauber says it's been good to see the community come together. It's really important that we stay together and understand uh, that together we're going to put this fire out. Uh, we're going to lose no lives and uh, we're going to rebuild once we put this fire out. And in the meantime, evacuees like McClelland are waiting patiently to return home. We're just staying here and trying to keep everybody happy and healthy until we can head back. Stauber also met with Babbitt's mayor to learn how he can help their community through this fire. He says he also is going to meet with business owners in Ely, one of those being Britain's Cafe in Ely, who helped uh, help fire crews yeah, have food to eat during this uh, process. Um, one of those, um, sorry, uh, we have a truck going by, uh, but one of those uh, <laughs> businesses that, that's going to need a lot of that community support uh, as time goes on and the fire continues to rage on. I'll throw it back to you guys. And Quinn, uh, we see those barricades behind you. Where are you in relation to the fire? And is there much activity? We heard the truck, but is there much activity there today? Not a whole lot. We've had like like that truck that just went by a couple logging trucks that have gone through. We're here on Highway one in the intersection of New Tomahawk Road, uh, just a couple miles east of Ely. So a uh, couple blockades. Make sure you're staying out of the area. The smell and the smoke isn't too bad here, but uh, again, evacuation orders. Okay, thank you, Quinn.